I'm Don. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to paint this Spell Crow sponsored orc bust. So, also I'm telling you about what I learned so far in the past six months. I'm mainly a gunpla builder and painter, so I know my paints in terms of airbrushing. I'm also very comfortable with weathering because I've been weathering my toys, my action figure since I was young. But in terms of painting miniatures, oh my, I don't even paint the details of my own miniatures. They often end up primed with basing <laughs> and a few colors. It was around the last week of May when I was painting my blow drone, airbrushing the green colors for the YouTube channel. And then David of Fantasy Figures Magazine asked me if I have an article, so I said I have the blow drone. After airbrushing the greens, oh my, the struggle of finishing that model. I wrote it actually in the article. So after my struggle of finishing that model for the magazine, I decided to take painting minis a bit more seriously. So I painted a ton of minis, mostly D&Ds and stuff, and also accepted a few commissions, Warhammer commissions, and tried to really learn painting miniatures. So this video is all about everything I learned for the past few months. Number one is, I think Serio Calvo calls it copy bases. It's basically painting the base colors first. Of course, I learned a lot from fellow Vallejo painter Angel Heraldes, but I kind of made friends with a lot of people, miniature painters at Instagram. So I got a lot of really good tips from all those people. I basically learned to keep it simple. Make sure that you have nice base colors, very defined like definition in between the elements in one miniature like the cloth should be separated clearly and cleanly from the skin. Number two is basic layering so you have to learn how to build up volume with just basic layering. Sometimes I call it sketching. Basic layering was a major struggle for me. I'm not used to painting lighter colors on top of colors. Basically, I'm not used to painting opaque colors because when I was younger, 12 years old, I'm basically a watercolor artist. I even do portraits for my teachers to get good grades. <laughs> so I got comfortable. Comfortable meaning I kind of know what I'm doing already maybe around a month ago in terms of layering it's basically just mixing the previous color with the next color so that you create nice smooth transitions also i hate painting over black primer but it creates the best contrast for the mini so i paint with dark base colors as undercoat before i paint the actual base color and of course, if you have an airbrush, it's the easiest and fastest way to paint base colors and even layering. I know my paints very well and I know my airbrush. So I'm very comfortable at airbrushing the base colors and even the highlights. So, but the problem is, I'm so used to doing it, it kind of bores me sometimes. So for the past few months, I was learning brush painting a lot more. The airbrush is the easiest and most efficient way to paint stuff. So, painting minis, gunpla, and even doing illustrations with the airbrush is like so easy once you know your airbrush and once you know your paints. I have a ton of tutorials on how to airbrush Vallejo colors. So, if you like airbrushing and Vallejo colors, do subscribe. Third is the shading. You could use washes, inks, and contrast paints. And of course, thin down paints to create more volume or not volume to create more contrast with your miniatures and really define those details. Doing shading with washes and inks and contrast paints for some of you guys is the easiest for me because I don't have to learn it. It's very similar to weathering mecha 
and robots and gunpla so this was the most like easiest transition for me in terms of painting creating shadows or making sure to add contrast with washes and inks and shadows is the easiest way to make your minis look really good number four is highlighting highlights edge highlights and highlight basically learn where the light source is like painting with the light source is a very broad topic so we won't like talk about it in this video because light reflects differently on different materials but for this video just basically assign learn to assign where the light is coming from usually it's from the top for me it's the top right sometimes top left top center doesn't create the same like interest in terms of the final output but basically learn to like position lighting and how it affects the miniature also edge highlighting or basically painting with details is all about thinning the paints properly lastly do less blending you get better miniatures or you are going to produce better miniatures if you produce different textures in one mini and you're not blending everything too much because it you will lose the contrast if you blend too much blending or glazing is a very powerful tool you will create like beautiful smooth skin painting and such but do not overdo it it's not fun for example we're painting orange so you paint dark red over the black primer blend and then paint red orange and then blend again and then paint orange and blend again and then paint light orange and blend again and paint highlights and blend again so basically it's not fun it's time consuming and it's unnecessary if you notice in my painting for the past month just sketch just paint the layers and all that stuff and do the blending right before you finish the model if you do proper layering and mix a lot of paints in your wet palette by the time you paint them on the minis you'll have really nice transitions Besides, once you do the shading with inks or thin down paints or contrast paints, those paints will actually help you blend everything together. I also have a few videos on how to use the glaze medium. It's the easiest way to do glazing if you feel that you need to do glazes. That's it. The video is done. I hope you liked the video. It was really a struggle learning how to paint miniatures and doing layering the proper way. It was like so uncomfortable. By uncomfortable, I mean I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm not saying I'm an expert now, but I'm more comfortable. Comfortable meaning I know what I'm doing now. I know the steps. It's just layering and then shadows and highlights and all that stuff. I started painting minis around 2014 but I stopped around 2015. But I was never serious about it until I struggled in that magazine article. Next video will finish this model and paint those leather parts and metal plates. That's it, we're done. I hope you liked the video. Do like, comment, subscribe, and consider joining the channel so that you'll be part of our Discord community. Also, you'll have access to videos and exclusive channel member videos. And that's it. So, until next video, guys. Saludos!